plan to reach my goal weight of 200 pounds. Okay, it's Wednesday, and this morning I had to do my housing selection for next year, but I can't remember what the place actually looks like. So my plan is to go and check it out now before I go get some lunch. So yeah, that's our first destination. The other thing that I love about this dorm is that it's right by the park. So it's like super nice in terms of um, like scenery and stuff like that. I'm just gonna park here real quick. I should have done this before we selected housing, honestly, because if I find out that I don't like it, I'm gonna be really upset. Honestly, I don't really know how to feel like it's not bad, but I don't know if it's good like I Feel like I wish we had gone with the corner um, House instead because More windows equals more light which you know <laughs> is best um, but we already chose our house, so I feel it doesn't really matter at this point. We can't change it. So, I mean, I think it'll be good. At least there's a porch, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm excited. Our next plan of action is to go get lunch, which is going to be sushi today. So, yeah, I'll see you there.
so the end of last week was rough i didn't get to do all the things that i had planned to do in this vlog but um i just kind of wanted to wrap it up and give you guys kind of an explanation on how the week ended first of all i went to therapy um i kind of have been thinking about it for a while and i just decided why not try i need to try something to you know get better in a way in terms of like i feel like i've been struggling in school and i've tried a lot of things but maybe um therapy could help in some way um or it could guide me in the right direction so i decided to give it a try and i don't know how i feel about it i don't know if it's like for me i don't know if it's gonna help me fix um the things that i want but i feel like i've only been to two sessions and i think that i should give it some more time and see how it works out so we're gonna keep doing that um second i had an academic intervention um which was much needed and kind of appreciated because i got to meet more black staff and students um that i didn't know before and i've been at the school for three years now so that was good um also it was kind of just like awakening i guess certain things so for instance one thing that i was asked was do i want to work as a civil engineer when i finish college and you know get this civil engineering degree and i feel like it made me feel like you know when you're a child and people ask you oh what do you want to do when you grow up i feel like that's the feeling that i got from being asked that question it was just like somebody was like asking me like what do you want to do with your life instead of just being like oh yeah this is what you're going to do with your life and like telling me kind of in a way i don't know it was just it felt good to be asked that question and i really had to think about my answer and the answer is yes i do want to work as an engineer when i get like when I finished college and you know my brain has been all over the place thinking about all these different things that I want to do in my life but I feel like while I was thinking of those things I wasn't thinking about this engineering degree that I was going to get and if I was going to use it like I, I it just wasn't like in my brain it was just like this is something I'm doing because I'm being told I need to do it or I I thought that I needed to do it I wasn't like resolute in my decision that this is going to be useful for my life because I didn't I, I didn't see it as being useful so now that I was asked that question and I thought about it I was like yes like I do want this de degree because I do want to be a civil engineer so I feel like that helped clear up some things for me, definitely. But another as uh, outcome of that intervention was that I I cried. <laughs> so while I was in the meeting, I f started feeling like this overwhelming like emotion, like this overwhelming feeling of like not being in the room i guess it was kind of like i felt like i was in the room but i nobody was really looking at me and paying attention to me and i don't think that that's actually what was happening i think that previous emotions that i had from before this were exacerbated were being ex ex were being exacerbated during this meeting um because i was just like sitting in my head and um so because of that i came out of the meeting feeling like really bad in a way like i felt there was some good emotions but there were some bad emotions and 
I just couldn't take it, I guess, anymore. And I just like, I left the building and I just cried. I went to a different building and I sat down in a chair and I just, I just cried. And while I was crying, I came to a couple realizations. <laughs> For one, I realized that the reason that I was feeling this like emotion of being overlooked wasn't actually because I've been being overlooked or I don't have anybody around me um, who I, like, I talk to or anything like that. But I just, I don't know, I was upset about like a number of like different events that had happened. And I was also, I realized that I've been feeling alone for a while. And when I say alone, I don't mean like, lonely because i feel like that could be confused with the same thing but when i say alone it just feels like i'm on an, a deserted island by myself and i'm the only person that i can depend on to survive on this deserted island and you know i just got to figure it out that's kind of how i've been feeling for a while now and i guess i just didn't put that into words and like bring it to my attention it's not that I don't have people around me who care about me and who I could potentially talk to. It's just that I I just felt alone. I didn't feel like I could talk to those people. I didn't feel like I could depend on those people. I felt like I have to do everything myself and that feeling is overwhelming. It's like, it's not a great feeling. Um, and it was dragging me down a lot and I think while I was crying I kind of realized while there are things that we need to do for ourselves and we should do for ourselves because we need that experience I feel like we can always um, use someone to depend on and you know talk to and I feel like I've been the one stopping myself from talking to people and getting help from people and that's something that I need to work on so that was very that was like really good that I was able to come away from crying um to learn that so yeah I just realized that I really need to reach out to people and go to club activities and like try to build a community like around myself because there's tons of communities um on campus and I feel like I just have been missing out on them because I haven't been putting myself out there so that's another thing that we're gonna work on and I think the last thing that I kind of realized while I was crying was that I'm not dumb <laughs> like I feel like for a while I've been thinking like you're not doing well in school and you're not getting the information because you're dumb like you're just not as smart as everybody else and I feel like that was me making an excuse to be lazy um, and not do work because I would like look at an assignment and I would be like, I don't know what's happening. Um, I just, I'm not just not smart enough and I just wouldn't do it. And that's definitely an excuse because the reason why I didn't understand this stuff is because I'm not going to class. I'm not reading the textbook. So how would I know how to do this information? Like. The professors and the other students didn't wake up knowing how to do the assignments. They studied it and they learned how to do it. And I can do that too. So I basically realized, come on, you're, you're 20. You need to stop making excuses for yourself. You need to actually be an adult and get your work done. <laughs> like, ask for help. It's not that hard. It's not as hard as I'm like telling myself it is because I've done those things before. So I just need to do it again. I have been going to class. I have been talking to my professors and I definitely see an improvement in my mood. I feel happier and I don't know, just better. It's been better. Like last week, the end of last week had like really, like really high highs and really low lows, but I think they balanced each other out and I came out feeling better for it on the plus side i did hit a new weight loss um milestone i got to 294 and i haven't gone back up so that's great and i think it's just gonna keep 
getting lower and lower so i'm really excited for that and i made this new like weight loss map that i think is going to be fun i'm still like tweaking and stuff but i think i'm going to show it like in my next video like officially like um what i have on it because i'd seen it like a while ago and i just decided like i want to recreate this because i feel like it's gonna be fun since i've been going to class and going to meetings i've been going outside and <laughs> i realized well going outside during the day and also since it's spring the sun is up more and it's just brighter and greener um i realized that i miss being outside and i was staying in my room way too much and that was contributing to my terrible mood my unwillingness to do work and so i i think that one of my goals for like the end of this semester is to just go outside like just get out of the room and I think that's gonna be a huge improvement because I already feel better like just being like outside of my room and having looking being able to see the Sun and everything it's just there's like really places there's really pretty places around my school so I need to take advantage of that in conclusion um, I need to stop telling myself that I can't do things because I can I need to you know start focusing more on my schoolwork and like just putting in that work and getting through the end of the semester um, because I can do it I like I know I can do it so I might be posting less and you know doing less art stuff but yeah I think I'm on the up and up and I think that um, if you guys have it maybe you just need to cry and you know that will clear your mind and you'll be like so much you'll feel so much better i don't know i haven't cried in a long time so i guess maybe that was it was like all pent up and i just that cry got everything out that's how i feel anyway thank you guys for listening to me and um i hope to see you guys in the next video bye see ya